I am Patricia Kane, the Friends of American Arts Curator of American Decorative Arts here at the Yale University Art Gallery, and the lead curator for art and industry in early America, Rhode Island Furniture, 1650 to 1830. I relied on the expertise of clock specialist Gary R. Sullivan in choosing the clocks for the exhibition, which includes more than 100 examples of Rhode Island furniture. Tall case clocks required the skills of three different trades to complete them. The clockmaker provided the dial and the clock works. A joiner or cabinet maker produced the case and the cabinet maker usually hired a glazer to install any glass in the case. Tall case clocks were complex and therefore costly objects which were only owned by wealthy people. This one has a case with elaborate carved details and an automated dial that is particularly intriguing. The case of the clock has some dramatic features also found on two related examples. These include carved and applied convex scallop shells within small framed elements on their bases. There are also concave shells carved into the arches of the pendulum doors. And the hoods have elaborate wavy fretwork and spiral twist finials like those on clocks made in eastern Connecticut. This clock's works are attributed to the Stillman family of clockmakers in Westerly, Rhode Island. The somewhat naive quality of the painting of the tulips and other flowers in the spandrels or corners of the iron dial suggests that it was produced locally and not imported like most of the painted dials found on American clocks made after the American Revolution. But the really ingenious aspect of this clock is its automated dial. In a recessed niche in the dial arch are figures of a cow, or perhaps a young steer, and a man in a frock coat with an axe. On the automated dial, as the clock strikes the hours, the farmer knocks the cow on the head with the axe, one blow for each hour struck, after which the cow falls over. Although this scene seems grim, miraculously, the cow stands up again before each new hour. Right now, the cow is lying on the ground in front of the farmer. Let's watch the cow slowly stand up and then be struck on the head again as the clock strikes the hours.